Hello, this is Juan Manuel talking to Jeffrey Golden here at Comic-Con. First off, you were on the panel last night. Thank you so much. Oh, it was my pleasure. It was a great panel. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, it was it was a lot of fun, and, you know, thank you for coming out. Anytime, you know. anytime we get to arm wrestle about uh, Batman versus Superman and whether or not it was good, it's a fun, uh, it's a fun opportunity for me. It's an opportunity for me to shine. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and everyone else is going to get a chance to see it. Probably Monday. I wanted to upload it, but, you know, Internet connections. Are, of course. And it's, it's a, like an hour and a half show. So it'll be great, uh, but we're just going to have to wait a little bit. Um, so you are the publisher of The Devastator. That is correct, yes, along with my wife, Amanda. The two of us are publishers, yeah. Awesome. Um, tell me, how long have you guys been around? Uh, this will be seven years in December. So I guess we're six and a half years, six and a half years about. And uh, we've been doing conventions for about five, five years. Um, you have uh, new books this con, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. So what do we have? Book on Amazon. They can get it at local bookstores, uh, and they can get it on our website at devastatorpress.com. Sweet. And so what else do you have new? Terrific. Well, we've got here, this is, uh, this is Killing It. Uh, it's a guide to being a strong female character in an action movie written by men. Uh, so it's about uh, being a strong, powerful woman, but not too strong or powerful because that would uh, threaten the men, the lead men in the film. So it's uh, dating tips, fashion advice, all with that in mind. So it's, uh, it's pretty hysterical. It's crazy. The, uh, the, uh, I'll show you a little bit of the... Uh, here. It's really cool. So this is a chapter on uh, on uh, renting, whether you should rent or, or die, whether uh, you should rent or own. And these are some of the different uh, habitats you could get, like a cold, lonely apartment, or uh, you could, uh, whether or not you want to explode your uh, house in uh, with some dynamite there. It's just, it's a crazy, hilarious book. Section on etiquette here: How to let uh, how to let the members of Bug Force down easily. There's this like ridiculous. Uh, there's this like ridiculous subplot in the book about uh, an action team called Bug Force and the heroes uh, involved in it. And it's written by uh, Joan Fort, a hilarious comedian. Uh, she writes for Nerdist and she does stuff for UCB Theater. So this is book is amazing, killing it. It's a new book and it's uh, it's here at the San Diego Comic Con and you can get it uh, in stores or at DevastatorPress.com uh, or on Amazon as well. Sweet and um, we have here slash fiction through the ages. Yes. This is a Devastator classic. Uh, this is actually, uh, yeah, we, this, is, this is almost as old as, as the Devastator itself. Um, so it's a historic look at slash fiction. and uh, Slash fiction, what is that? Oh, uh, slash fiction is when, uh, when a fan writes uh, two characters having sex or two or more characters having sex. And uh, so, for example, this is uh, Popeye in three-way for the Third Reich. So this is uh, Popeye, Bluto, and uh, and uh, it gets cut off before we get to Hitler in the in the mix. But it implies that that's where we're going. These are all parodies, of course. Oh, are you? It's parodies. Oh. Oh yeah. Sorry. I mean, I mean, you can, you could probably still masturbate to. I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But it's uh, meant to be humorous. And uh, here's a Benjamin Franklin slash fiction. This is the famous Joiner Dive. You can see the snakes are, uh, are in love with each other here. Oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, and we have um, this new hip magazine for all the girls to put up on their locker rooms. All the hottest doctors. Hmm. All the cutest Daleks. All the sexiest Cybermen. They're what? All in, uh, they're all in this issue of Tardis Beat magazine here. Oh. There's a, there's a quiz. Are you companion material? Here's the uh, the weeping angels, those stone cold hotties here, and it's a really fun uh, mashing up these two things. You, you learn you you learn a lot about both. You learn a lot more about Doctor Who and Tiger Beat by uh, matching them up. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Here's a little a little full pulled up poster you can put on your wall at the end of the Cyberman. Put on your ceiling, you know. Absolutely. So so tell me uh, uh, all the research you had to do. Did you buy copies of Tiger Beats? Uh, did you just go into your own personal collection? No. no well, well, the uh, the author is uh, Patrick Baker, and he's a writer for a regular show on Cartoon Network. Actually, Patrick also wrote this book too, Slash Fiction Through the Ages. Yeah. Um, 
And, uh, he, you know, for the layout, we actually hired a gentleman by the name of Mike Reddy, who's an amazing illustrator, layout artist, and he used to work for Seventeen Magazine. So, uh, so when he, so, Jeez. so when we asked him, could he do this? He said, "It's so simple. It's so easy. All I have to do is follow my worst design instincts, <laughs> and that's uh, and that's how we got uh, Tardis Feet." <laughs> that, that that is awesome. That you actually were able to get someone who worked on things like that. That is uh, the Devastator's commitment to detail. That's what we're all about here. We like uh, we. We work really hard making these goofy, silly books that will probably end up near or around your toilet. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> no, and, and, and like, you know, the, 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 the parody, like, you know, all the feelings, obviously that is Samuel French, you know, parody on the, on the cover. Yeah. So it, it's like this, this attention to detail that I think that The Devastator puts out that is definitely a hallmark of what you guys do. And I think that looks awesome. Um, and then if we can just catch over here, who's, who's, who's this? What? <laughs> it's a book for white people who are concerned they might be racist. Hmm. As you can see, it, there's a smiling face of people of color, and then uh, and then reaffirming phrases on the other side, meant to promote positivity. And uh, yeah, these are all uh, these are all comedians of color in the L.A. area. And uh, one cool thing about the book is that at the very end. Well, one cool thing about another cool thing about the book is that it gives you a medal at the end that says "not racist," <laughs> which is pretty cool. I like all books that end with the reader getting a medal. Well, absolutely. And then, uh, and then there's all actor credits here, so you can follow all these uh, people of color and follow their work. And amazing, uh, they're all very talented and amazing folks. So, awesome. So, uh, uh, this sold out at the GOP convention this yeah, weekend, right? Oh, definitely, yeah. We uh, and then we just shipped a bunch to Trump just for fun. <laughs> yeah. Just for giggles. Um, and then uh, before before we go, we've got Joan talking about your book. This is my book. I'm sorry. This is like eating popcorn. It's like Comic Con lunch. Um, <laughs> Um, killing it. It's the Action Girl's Guide to Saving the World While Looking Hot. I think Jeffrey already talked it up a little bit. I did, but what was the inspiration for the book? Uh, oh, um, I'm just a big fan of uh, poorly written female characters in shitty male screenplays, <laughs> male written screenplays, and I wanted to write a book from from one of their perspectives. What would if a, if one of these characters came to life, like a Black Widow, and she could tell you how to how to live more like her? Um, this is the book she, she would have written. Sweet. Well, guys, thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you. We'll see you at the next convention. We will thank you. See you soon. Absolutely. Woo! Thank you.